channel. Today I thought I would share with you my daycare schedule. And I have my little baby along with me because he's not napping today. Right? Not napping? Not napping? Alright, so my daycare hours are 6.45 in the morning to 4.45 in the afternoon. Um, I have 12 kids, 7 and under, here pretty much every day. It'll change a little bit when school picks back up, but that's my summer schedule. And so kids start arriving between, I have a huge range of time kids arrive at. Some of, I have kids arriving anywhere from 6.45 to 8.45. So anywhere in that two hour span. So when people come to my door, I just greet them and say good morning to the kids. Um, if it is early in the morning, 6.45, at that time I usually just have cartoons on, that's kind of our time of the day that we watch cartoons, and everyone just kind of goes in and watches cartoons until breakfast, and at 7.15, and yeah, during that time I'm prepping breakfast and getting um, anything else for meals prepped that day that I need. So 7.15, I have the kids come into the dining room for breakfast. We wash our hands first. <laughs> um... And I try and give the kids a hot breakfast in the morning. I found that if I give them just like cereal, it just doesn't stick with them long enough. So I try and give them like a good hot breakfast, like eggs and toast, pancakes. Um, we're big fans of oatmeal, that kind of thing. So after breakfast, the kids usually just run off to play and I clean up. Sometimes there's more kids arriving after breakfast. Like I said, I have kids coming all the way till 8.45. And usually by 7.45, kids are done eating and out playing and usually by 8 or 8 15 I have the kitchen cleaned up and I go join the kids in the playroom and then this is in the summer so typically we stay and play till all of our friends kind of get here and once it's about nine o'clock everyone is at my house and that's when I have the kids clean up the playroom and I have them take turns playing potty change diapers all that jazz and we get sunblock on, and typically, if I know it's not going to rain, um, we will get our shoes on and head to a park. I have so many parks that are close to my house, and we just walk to the park, and we play there till almost 11 o'clock. And that's when I come back. We usually get back around 11 or 11.10, and the kids just go back to kind of playing in the playroom. Uh, once in a while, I will turn, like, I have a whole playlist on YouTube of, like kids yoga or kids dance or just kids action songs. So once in a while I'll throw that on for them to do while I'm making lunch, depending on how long it's gonna take me to prep our lunch for the day. And then after I have lunch ready, I tell the kids to go wash up. They all come in to the dining room for lunch. We have lunch. We're pretty much out of the dining room again by noon. And then I just kind of send the kids back to the playroom to play for like another 15 or 20 minutes while I clean up lunch myself. And then once, usually at about like 12, 15, I have the kids start cleaning up again. And some days it takes them longer than others depending on messes we've made. But that's kind of what I aim for. And then after... Um, they've cleaned up. Again, I have kids take turns going potty. I change diapers. And then we sit down and do story time. And I usually read books for 10 to 15 minutes, sometimes a little longer if the kids cleaned up quick and we have time for that today. And then I lay out all their nap spots. And honestly, right now I have so many school agers. So about half my kids nap. And my two sleep in the, my two little ones, I have a, he's four month old, four months, and then I have a two year old too. They sleep in their own rooms. But then my other nappers um, nap in the playroom. And my big kids that aren't napping right now, which is about six of them, so about half of my crew, um, they go out in the living room. And at that point, I, um, sometimes I do give them the option to play outside, or a lot of times I do, but a lot of times they don't want to either. So that's kind of the time of the day where I, I try and have them be quiet for at least an hour and a half. I, tr I usually turn on a movie, I'll get out coloring stuff, puzzles, beads, um, 
any little like crafting stuff. I have like little magnet boards. I have I don't know, just a lot of little various kind of busy bag things to kind of just keep them quiet and busy. They're also always welcome to look at books or color. I try and have them do something along those lines. And between checking on my kids that aren't napping and um, my checking on the kids that are napping, I usually try and do something, try and get something done. It's kind of my me time of the day. Um, sometimes I have paperwork that I need to get done. Sometimes I have laundry I need to get folded. Or I need to do some work on my computer or clean bathrooms. Or That's just kind of my time of the day where I really try and get something done. Um, and then usually about 2.30, my, my kids are starting to wake up. My big kids are getting pretty antsy. So at that time, we kind of clean up any little things that we had out because uh, when my littlest ones wake up, a lot of the stuff they play with during nap time is a choking hazard. So that's what we do. And then about 2.30, 2.45, I start getting snack ready. So then at 3 o'clock, um, we usually start getting sunblock on again, have our little potty, change diapers, all that. And because it's summer, if it's not nice out, obviously we'll stay in. If it is nice out, we will head out to the deck and have snack up there. It's just one less thing to clean up. It's Then I don't have to clean off my tables, I don't have to sweep, none of that. So I love that about summer. And then from there, we just play outside till parents come. So a lot of times we usually get... Most of the kids get to play for an hour, hour and a half out in my backyard in the afternoon before parents come. So, and then they just come to the backyard and get their kids. So that's my daily schedule for my daycare. I have 12 kids, seven and under, every day this summer. And that is pretty much how our days go. And if you're a daycare provider, comment down below and tell me how this schedule is similar to yours. I'm always curious to know how other people do things. Um, and if you are thinking about starting a home daycare, let me know if this was helpful to you. And as always, have a great day. Bye.